Cameron Martell from Web Bike World, and I'm here today to shock you with the latest news on all things electric bikes. Brazen and battery powered, the bikes of the future appear to be much closer than people realize. If you're doubting the viability of electric motorcycles, here are six news stories from the past two weeks alone that might cause you to change your tune and pay homage to our electrified future. Let's start with the Zero SRF, which will be the company's most powerful motorcycle yet. Lots of people have expressed interest in Zero motorcycles, but have held off on grabbing one because the Zeros of yesteryear don't quite scratch that speed itch. Well, the upcoming SRF might do the trick. Judging by the company's latest teaser video, the SRF has a new Z4 7510 motor that should be more powerful than any of Zero's previous motorcycles. Enter Yamaha, who gets a little weird with the Motoroid concept bike and wins an award. Yamaha's electric Motoroid concept bike looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. While most of its tech is years away from a production motorcycle, this is the way things seem to be going. At least that's what the design leaders of the world think. The Motoroid recently won yet another design award. Good job, Yamaha. Remember mopeds? Those low-powered motorcycles with pedals? Even a 30-year-old moped gets something like 100 miles per gallon, so there's probably not a reason to make an electric one, am I right? Well, apparently I'm not, because California-based Onyx is actually making mopeds and selling them. Their most expensive model comes in at $3,250, and honestly, it's a pretty attractive machine that'll do 60 miles per hour all day long. Not too bad. Now you know the electric motorcycle space is heating up when big players in the industry start getting involved, and Kawasaki has recently filed patents for what looks like an electric motorcycle. They have a funky electric bike called the J-Concept back in 2014, and now the company seems to be playing around with the idea again thanks to some new patents that recently surfaced. Now just how far along the project is, is unclear, but you know you're going to hear about it here when they announce more details. Now this one gets me really excited. Druid Motorcycles showing off hybrid and electric bikes. Now Druid Motorcycles might be a little heavy handed with its whole magician and sorcerer branding, but the company has two new bikes that you should not overlook. There's one fully electric model and another hybrid model. Now the best part, the Druid Sorcerer Hybrid is said to make 230 horsepower. Actually, that's insane. Now, Lightning Motorcycles is teasing more of its new bike, the Strike. At two different times of the past couple of weeks, Lightning Motorcycles has felt the need to tease more information about the upcoming Strike motorcycle. The first teaser was the seating position for the motorcycle, which is much more upright than the company's LS218 Superbike. The second was of its liquid-cooled electric motor and Olean suspension. If you weren't excited for the Strike before, perhaps you are now. I know I am. And that's it for today, fellow web bikers. Check in with us at Web Bike World for more news on the latest and greatest in the motorcycle world. Our news feed is updated every business day. From all of us here at Web Bike World, thanks for watching.